Once young people in the foster care system turn 18, relocating to a new home can sometimes be challenging. KCAU 9 News reporter Nick Wilson shares how local resources here in Siouxland help these young adults move on to the next chapter of their lives in our top story at 6. Nick? That's right, Tim and Sophie. In the summer of 2021, staff at the Crittenton Center began planning to build tiny homes for foster kids because right now they don't have many options in Siouxland. But this project will help change that. Kim Scorza with the Crittenton Center says the idea to help kids who just turned 18 came about when one of the children in the center's emergency shelter reached out for help. There was not a plan for where he was going to go um, outside of being referred to the street, which is the gospel mission. And that, that is not a plan. That is not a plan for a child in foster care. The Crittenton Center plans to build six tiny homes near their former emergency shelter. Most tiny homes are 600 square feet or less. Scorza says while the kids will live in the homes independently, help will never be far away. We have social workers, we have uh, case workers, nurses, um, we'll have people around them to support them. Not do it for them, but be able to support them. I just think having them still on our campus where they can still have services by us, they can have support from us, and be as independent as they want to will be great for all of them. Katie Bruno with the Crittenton Center says while the project will cost $1.2 million, many community members have volunteered to donate supplies. It means a lot. Um, I think just in the last year or so, we've really, uh, it's really opened my eyes to how, how much people want to help and want to uh, assist kids who, who are in these situations. The kids will be responsible for paying rent, and the Crittenden Center hopes the kids will be able to move into the homes by winter of 2024. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.